The CTBT should be brought into force without further delay. Moratorium testing are most welcome, but go only so far as has been proven by events earlier this year in East Asia. However, let us also recall that the CTBT is only one element in our pursuit towards a world free of nuclear weapons. The year 1998 brought us the last short-lived glimmer of hope that the Conference on Disarmament could still perform as mandated. Unfortunately, ever since, this Cold War era body is sleepwalking through an increasingly changing world without any prospect for resuming its substantive work. This situation is rightfully raising sincere questions about its relevance. Over the past several years, frustration has grown over the persistent failure of the traditional multilateral forums, in particular the Conference on Disarmament, to make meaningful progress towards nuclear disarmament. For the CTBT. Thank you. Progress on the CTBT is an indicator of the health of the NPT, an international commitment to nuclear disarmament. It is hard to imagine any further progress on nuclear disarmament including a fissile material treaty without the CTBT into force. Yesterday, indeed, we, uh, the three DPRK declared tests, 2006, 2009, and 2013, have put our political, scientific, technical, and human capability to test. We managed to prove beyond doubt that capabilities of the verification regime even at the stage of build-up of, of the monitoring system.